Hey besties, I'm so glad you're here. I'm sorry. Anyway, hang on just a second, sorry. Oh shoot, it looks like a Zoom call. Just one sec, I'm gonna get it. I'm sorry, oh, just one sec, I'll get it. Okay. Hello? Um, hello. Hi Bella, I'm kinda of busy right now. Did you think you could really do a video without me? My fans are waiting. Wait, oh, okay, my bad. What did you wanna say? Um, Take it from here. Wait, wait, no, I have to. You can hang up now. Now, where were we? If you are new here, thanks for stopping by. My mommy is Lisa Marie. Oh, and I'm Bella. If you're one of her subscribers or besties, she loves you and appreciates you so much. Today, she has created 10 spring decor items that are so super easy and beautiful and we can't wait to show you so let's go this diy is being made out of these little cauldron things i found at the dollar tree they're in the saint patrick's day section even though i wasn't actually intending to use them for that they end up kind of looking like that and then i've got a canvas which i'm just going to use the frame as you see here i just pulled off the canvas and then i use this little teeny tool it looks like a crowbar it wasn't mine so i can't list it below i'm going to use some brown paint and water it down and i'm just going to put it all over the frame and then wipe off the excess with a paper towel and that will be my stain i didn't want a real dark one anyway and so this worked out just perfectly now i'm going to take those little cauldrons and i want to hang them from kind of like the middle of the frame but first I'd like to paint them. So I'm gonna sand them so that the paint will hopefully stick better. And I'm gonna mix some green with white to make a really nice pastel green. Now that they've been painted and it took two coats and then I added a little bit of white over the top to distress them lightly. I'm gonna put some twine around the rim of the top of each one. I'm just gonna hot glue it right to that spot. And I think that makes it look really cute. I picked up some flower picks from Dollar Tree and the Target Dollar Spot and they were so nice and I'm looking for, you know, kind of the more natural looking ones where there are different kind of greens and then a little bit of those white kind of, I don't know what they are, flowers. <laughs> now I've got this ribbon and I love this ribbon with the black chevron on the burlap and I'm using that over the top and it's going to facilitate a hanger. So you'll see the ribbon attached to the top of the frame and then I'm going to take a little piece of jute twine and make a loop and put it on the back so that when it's hung up you don't actually see that part but then you just see the pretty ribbon. And now I'm going to determine where I'm going to attach the jute across the frame and hot glue it. And I'll cover each end with a little bit of ribbon so that I can hang the three little cauldron pots. And now I'm just stringing the three little, now they're planters, <laughs> across with the jute twine. And then I will hot glue it to the other end and put some ribbon on it. I'm going to make three little simple bows out of jute and put them on the front of each one. And that's it. It was super easy. It came out so cute. You'll have to tell me what you think. I hope you guys like it. This spring DIY is so easy. I love doing easy ones. I just took this dishcloth that I got from the Dollar Tree and one of these little signs. And I've also got some ribbon that I'm going to use. And now I'm cutting out the design on the towel. I was hoping to use the entire design. It won't end up fitting and so I'll have to make a little adjustment. But it's just so cute. It says bloom where you are planted and I love that little bicycle. It's adorable. I'm gonna open up the little sign that's wrapped in plastic and then I'm gonna take my putty knife and I'm just gonna scrape off those word that says weekend. It's kind of like a little plastic thing on there and I don't need it. And then I'm also gonna scrape off the excess glue that was on there so I can make a little bit of a flatter surface. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna push out the backing. If you just gently push around like I just did there, it comes right out. It was just glued in, very easy. And this way I can position my cutout piece of the towel right on there. 
And as you can see, the whole thing wouldn't fit. It just wasn't large enough. I even tried to fold it up and clear out some of the space. But what I ended up having to do is cut off the bicycle and I'll just use it for a different DIY someday. And I'll just leave the bloom where you are planted part. Now that's gonna fit perfectly. And I'm just gonna hot glue it right onto that little sign piece. I'm gonna clean up the edges with my scissors, just do a little trim for any excess that hung over. That way this little piece of the sign will fit back into the frame very nicely. And then that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna place it back into the frame and I'm gonna use some hot glue to secure it. I forgot to film myself making the bow, but it's just a super simple bow that I wrapped around my fingers and then secured in the middle. And here's what it looks like. I think it's so cute. do me a small favor can you hit that like button if you're enjoying this video believe me it helps my channel so much and it tells YouTube to show my video to more people so thank you for this spring DIY I've got a little mini wreath and I've got these carrots from Dollar Tree and then I've also got some greenery that I got at the Target dollar spot these wreaths come two in a pack and you just have to really look closely to figure out where to cut them apart I almost thought they were just one now I've gone ahead and I'm hot gluing little leaves from this greenery that I got and then I'm going to attach the carrots. Now I'm figuring out the pattern or design that I want to do right now and I end up putting kind of a little row of leaves and then I'm going to put five carrots hot glued to it. Super easy, super fast and it came out adorable. I decided to take that burlap black chevron ribbon and use that to create a cute little faux hanger that's going to have the hanger on the back which is just another little piece of jute twine and you guys that's it i love this one it was so easy so cute and so inexpensive oh my gosh you know, crafts don't have to be super complicated to be fun and really cute. This didn't require any special techniques and I just threw it together. And I really think anyone could make this. DIY is so cool. I found this round wood piece with a hanger at the Target dollar spot. It was three dollars and one side has got a whitewashed kind of look and one has got the wood and then I found the word happy, the metal word happy at the Dollar Tree and then I have some flower picks and so what I decided to do is hot glue the word happy across this wood round and then I'm going to put some cute little flowers and greenery around the bottom and just decorate it that way. It's super simple but it just feels like spring you know because spring makes you happy especially after all the snow and whatever in the winter so I just thought what a cute wall hanging this would be it's like a wreath but not a wreath
kind of ran into this little dilemma. There were two holes in the metal word happy. I guess you could have hung it. Well, I already had a hanger on the wood round, so I decided to use these little pop-up button things from their stickers from the Dollar Tree, and I put them over the holes, but then I thought, oh, that looks weird just on the H and the one P. So I just put a couple across each letter, and they were pretty colors, and they were very spring-like, and I thought, you know what? That'll work. What do you guys think? Would, would you have done that, or would you have done something different? Let me know in the comments. I honestly love how this one turned out. I hope you guys do too. For this DIY, I'm gonna take this little, kind of a wooden tag with slats on it from the Dollar Tree, and then a piece from another Dollar Tree item. I'm gonna use some scrapbook paper, and I'm just gonna cut out different sizes and attach it to the different parts of the wood. And I'm really enjoying mixing all these colors and patterns. As long as they're similar colors, I think it goes together really, really well. I'm attaching my scrapbook paper that I cut out with a glue stick and then I'm going to use a little blade and cut through the slats on the back so you can see through them and the scrapbook paper doesn't cover them. Once that's done, I'm going to get my little crate from the Dollar Tree ready using the steel color of chalk paint by Waverly. I'm going to paint the whole thing. And then the very bottom I'm going to paint in the elephant color. I'm going to use that elephant color to distress as well. And I'm going to try a new technique where after I do a heavy distressing, I'm going to come back with a baby wipe and wipe it down and get it to the exact look that I want. And you know, if you wipe off too much, add a little more and so forth. It's really easy to do. I learned this technique from my friend Holly at Hot Humble Pie, and I'll put her channel link down below. And then I'm going to take the back side of this one. I like to finish my crafts off, and I am going to paint that as well. In order to attach the two pieces, I'm going to use some craft sticks. And what I'm going to do is cut them in half using my little miter shears, which are in my Amazon store. They're a really cool tool. If I mention I got something at Amazon, I have an Amazon store and you can find those items there if it's something you need. And you'll find the link in my description box. And then I'm going to use this tight bond, a very strong adhesive that I also got on Amazon. And I'm going to attach the popsicle sticks right where the slats would be on my tag. So there's going to be four of those, but they're really just halves. I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm going to put some weight on it. I only had two clamps that would fit in there. And then once that's dry, I come back in and I'm going to paint it with the steel color so that it all matches. And then I'm going to also put glue on those slats and attach my piece. So there you go. And it actually is staying really well and I'm very happy with how it looks and it's very cohesive. And I'm going to clamp that in and let that dry. I actually let it dry overnight just to be sure. I decided to use some silver vinyl, and so I'm gonna put the plaster color of chalk paint distressed heavily over the front. That way you'll be able to see my vinyl lettering on there. And now I'm just deciding where I'm gonna place it and how I'm gonna do it. Just going ahead, putting it on, and there you go. I love the way this looks, it's so cute. And I have a little bit left of this little garland piece, so I cut it in half and I applied it to the top. And I thought that was just a great finishing touch for this one. I'm going to take my blade and I'm just going to cut those little pieces that are over the slats just like I did with the scrapbook paper so that I can make sure you can see through it. And now I've got some floral foam that I'm going to cut down to size and I've got this really cool greenery from the Dollar Tree and I'm cutting everything into smaller pieces so I can arrange them exactly how I want to. And then I'm going to add these blue flowers and some more greenery. I like the different textures and I like, you know, there's some white flowers. I just love that. And now this one's done and I really hope you like it. Hey again, just want to let you know I'm on social media. So if you want, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and TikTok. I'd love to see you there. All my links are down in the description box. Plus, you can send me photos if you make something that maybe I inspired you to create. I would love to see them. Thanks. So this DIY, I ran into some problems pretty early on. I'm using a little wood round from the Dollar Tree, some pop-up stickers, a little stencil, and I mix some blue and white paint together to make a pastel blue, which I think is so pretty. I'm just, again, going for those spring colors, and 
I'm going to paint around the sides too. And then I'm going to surround the outside of the circle with those little pop-up stickers. Love the effect. I first saw this effect from Nicole at the Week's Nest and she's done it on several projects and really cute. I'll put her channel link down below just if you want to check that out. And so now I completed putting them around and I am going to go ahead and paint over them with a kind of lighter bluish white just to give it more of an accent. I am putting the stencil on the top, trying to center it, and then I'm gonna use some white paint and a little brush to go ahead and carefully put it around. And look what happened. Oh my gosh, it bled everywhere. I thought I was being so careful. Anyway, it's crafting, we can move on, and I just decided to paint the whole inner circle white. And I grabbed two carrots, and I'm gonna use really pretty ribbon I got at the Dollar Tree. And so I'm just gonna tie a bow, and I'm gonna hot glue them directly to the little round, and this project is done. What do you guys think? I thought this stencil would have been really cute, but you know what? I actually like the carrots better, so we'll call it a happy mistake. It's also got a hole in the wood round so you can hang it from something or I could just set it on a tiered tray. I think it's just gonna look so cute for the springtime. I'd love to hear what you guys would have thought to do in that situation. I bet you have lots of great ideas. Let me know. I found this really cute tin planter at the Dollar Tree and it's a little bright and shiny so I'm going to use my Kills primer paint in white and I'm going to cover the whole thing. Not a heavy coat because I am going to distress it and I'm going to do a little bit of the inside too and then I'm going to take my elephant paint from Waverly and I'm going to distress it with a dry brush where you put a little bit on the brush, wipe most of it off and then drag it across your piece and I'm mostly trying to get the seams and the edges and over the letters so that you can read them really well and I'm just loving the look that this is giving and I think it's just it's such a a, like antique kind of a look and that's one of the things I really like about doing this. I wanted to add a couple of little flowers on the front of it. I just thought that would be really cute. Go over to my little planter and I'm going to set them on there and it really looks great because the color, the silver vinyl really matches. And now it's time to style my little planter with some flowers. I put some floral foam in there and I filled the sides with some other styrofoam that I had. And I'm just cutting a bunch of different flowers from the Dollar Tree. These are so cute. They're pink, white with a little yellow in the center. And then I have some more little pink, white, and yellow ones with branches. And then I'm gonna use these bright yellow flowers because I wanted to tie it all together. And I think it's just so cheery and fun. And I'm absolutely loving it. I'm gonna add some fern to the back just to kind of frame it and give it a little height. And then I'm gonna add some more leaves to the front. I also got a Dollar Tree and I absolutely love how this turned out. I hope you guys like it. It was super fun to make and very easy and fast. For this DIY, I'm going to use two of the little cauldrons that came out of a St. Patrick's Day package of five. And this little hand towel from the Target Dollar Spot. Is that not the cutest? Oh my gosh. And I also have some florals and greenery from the Target Dollar Spot this time. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the edges of this dish towel. I only need about half of it, so that's all I'm going to cut off and then just cut it right down the middle. And then I'm going to cut that right down the middle so I have one piece for each of the cauldrons. Now this is not fancy, it's super simple. I'm just gonna reach up the side with each piece, hot glue it to the cauldron, and then kind of fold in and make little pleats for that excess, and I'm gonna hot glue that down. And basically I'm gonna cover up the black cauldron with this cute little dish towel, and that way it'll have a really nice spring feel to it. I realized I didn't need the handles and they just popped right out when I pulled them off, so I removed them.
I took some jute twine and I wrapped it around, figured out how long I needed. Literally, around the rim, tied a little teeny shoestring bow. I did this for both of them. Super easy. You know how the jute gets those little fuzzies on it? So I trim them off. I'm afraid to use fire. I think I'll burn the house down. I don't know. What would you guys do? I'm gonna trim the fabric around the top because it's a little too tall. And I'm just gonna hot glue it down wherever it looks like it might need a little extra securing so nothing sticks out. It is so cute, you guys. I feel like there's just these adorable little planners. I didn't have any foam. I threw a little napkin in there, cut off pieces from the picks, just till, you know, till I liked it. It wasn't like a plan I had. I was just going for like, oh, somebody brought me flowers. How will I arrange them? And it was just so easy. I'm thinking this is going to go on a tiered tray. It could go anywhere, windowsill. So I thought it was done and then I got that feeling like you're not done and I added a couple of those little pink flowery things and that was it. And then I said, wait, more. <laughs> so I have this white rope that I got at Dollar Tree. It's a three strand cord. I used one of the strands and just wrapped it around the rim so you couldn't see the black anymore. And then I was done and I love it. Nothing says spring more than flowers. So I'm gonna create a cute little flower box. I'm using one of those little wooden crates from the Dollar Tree, some flowers I got between Dollar Tree and the Target Dollar Spot, and also this tissue paper that I got at Dollar Tree that is so pretty and very spring-like. What I'm gonna do now is measure out the pieces I need to be able to decoupage this tissue paper all around the outside of this crate. I'm not gonna do the inside or the bottom because there's really no need. I'm going to take my Mod Podge and I'm going to cover one side at a time and then I'm going to lay out the pieces that I cut to fit. Made them just slightly bigger but it's easier to work with than the big sheets of tissue paper. And now I'm going to go ahead and secure every part of it to the crate and then press it down. This is such a small piece it was really easy to just use my fingers very gently and press it down. And then I moved on to the next side, did the same thing and both of the ends I did as well. I'm gonna take my little sanding sponge from the Dollar Tree and very gently sand at the very top edges all the way around the crate and let the, and this is after the Mod Podge dries, by the way, you don't wanna do it before that with tissue paper because it'll pull it right off. But if you do this very gently when it's dry, it'll just separate. And then all you have to do is a super light sanding right over the edge like I'm doing right there. And then I move on to the next side. And then I was able to use my little sanding sponge very carefully and get rid of that excess paper in there. Now what I do after I get all of the paper off is I go back over all those edges with the Mod Podge just so there isn't any little extra piece that's lifted that I didn't catch and that way it'll all adhere to the crate. And honestly, it looks like it was always on there. It looks so good. I love that technique. Now I'm gonna add this white nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. It was a three strand cord and I pulled it apart and I'm just using one of the strands and I'm gonna hot glue it all the way around the top edge of this little crate. I didn't have any floral foam handy, so I just bunched up a couple of white napkins just to fill in the space. And then I trimmed off some of these little uh, pink and white flowers and some beautiful greenery. And literally, that's it. This one is done. I love it. I hope you guys love it too. And it really does feel like spring. This spring DIY is not my personal style. It's kind of leaning towards shabby chic, not totally, but this is gonna be for my mom and she likes things that are a little more blingy than I do. So I've got this beautiful silver tray from the Dollar Tree, some flower picks from the Dollar Tree, 
some pearls from the Dollar Tree and silver beads from the Dollar Tree. And then also a little glass jar with a lid that I got, guess where? At the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so I got off the flowers and what I'm gonna do is fill this jar with all these cute little embellishments and then I'm going to hot glue it to the bottom of the tray and then embellish the jar. And what I was thinking is you could unscrew the jar for any season and redo the inside to match whatever the season is or what you're celebrating or your decor. So this I'm thinking is maybe for a bedroom, but it could be for a bathroom, vanity, that kind of thing. Super simple. I mean, honestly, I'm just going to style the inside of the jar so it looks the way I want. I'm going to pop off those little pink round things that you see on those flowers. I guess they're some kind of a flower that I don't know. And add the beads and add the pearls and some leaves. Literally, that's all I'm going to do. Then I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to hot glue the silver beads around the bottom of the lid so that, well, not the bottom of the lid, right on the glass so you can take the lid off. Honestly, this could not be any easier and you could use stuff you have around the house. I just picked up these things and now I'm going to hot glue this right to the top of the jar. I'm going to try to center it. I go to a lot of trouble to try to center it and then it ends up gluing on off center. Well, later on I knocked it off so I'm able to fix it and make it center, but it just, I have a terrible time centering things. Because this gets handled a lot, I would recommend using E6000. I would then add a little bit of the hot glue just to hold it temporarily and then use the E6000 definitely for the long-term hold, much more stable. I found this beautiful flower decal at the Dollar Tree and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick it right in the center of the tray and then I'm gonna Mod Podge over it. I didn't have a foam brush or anything like that. I had to use a little teeny art brush so you will see the lines from the Mod Podge and when I take the final picture it wasn't a hundred percent dry I just needed to get everything cleaned up before dinner because so I was using the kitchen table at my brother's house so forgive that it does look better after the fact and if you use a foam brush of course the Mod Podge is gonna go on really clean but you can still see those little lines right there I hope you guys like this one I thought it was really cute and I hope my mom likes it too Thank you so much for watching. That means a lot to me. And I do want you to know that you are truly a blessing to me. If you like this video, I've got a couple other videos up here that I think you'll really like. So click on one of those next and I will see you in my next video. Bye.